There are kind of two main paths for using this agent payments protocol. We'll think about this in like terms of a stack. So first, we had to you know get agents up and running and give you the tools to get agents up and running quickly. So that's the ADK. Then on top of that, you know a lot of these workflows are going to be multiple agents. So we have the agent to agent protocol. And then like once you're transacting and, and you're interacting across multiple agents, you want to exchange value. And so that's the agent payment protocol. And there are kind of two main use cases. One is I'm going to give you some parameters and I want you to go and like if, if you're a sneakerhead and you always miss out because the bots are getting you you know because they're getting to the sneaker sales before you're able to get to the sneaker sales you can define an agent that says I, I want this type of sneaker and kind of these cost parameters these features and when it's available I want you to let me know and that's what we call a mandate you give this agent a mandate and it'll go out and it'll be uh, monitoring the web and once that condition those guardrails are met It'll come and prompt you. And then you have the choice to go and put something in the card and to finish the transaction. There's another one, which is I trust the agent to go and kind of curate all these things to put it in the cart, and all I really want to do is finish the transaction. And so this has kind of two levels of mandate. There's like this initial you know, set of guardrails, and then there's a trust mandate. And uh, think of like travel. You want to go somewhere, you want to have a bunch of options put together for airfare, hotel, experiences. You're going to need multiple agents going out, bringing those things back, putting them into the cart, and saying like, okay, it's time to check out, and then the human can just check out. 